I'm Lady Asuka, and today we want to talk about how you can add textures as animations, which results in a smoother transition between your texture swaps. We will be using the multi-texture M-Tune shader that you can download from Sovidriel's website. So first, we have to be aware of a few things, which are which version of Unity we will be using and which Uni VRM plugin we need to make this work. So please pay close attention to these details. Since we will be working with animations, we need the Unity version that is compatible with the current VSF SDK plugin. At the time of this video, this was version 2019.4.31 F1. And the Uni VRM plugin that we need is version 0.66, which is very important. All links are, as always, down in the description. We create a new 3D project in Unity with the right version and start importing our plugins in the following order. First, the Uni VRM plugin. Then, the VSF SDK plugin. Then, the M2 multi texture shader. And if you use any other plugins, then these can be imported after. After that, we drag our avatar into the bottom assets and into the sample scene. What we can already do directly is to create a new animator controller by right-clicking into the gray area of the bottom assets and select the menu point Create and then Animator Controller. After that, we search for the face on our model and find the materials with their respective shaders in the inspector to the right. I want to add here that you can also use this method to switch other textures around. But the only two viable options here are face and body. You can even add some effects to your eyes if you want to. I'm sure you would find even more uses for it. As you see, all of the materials have the VRM M Tune shader by default. We will select for the face skin now the M Tune multi texture option. This option will open up a menu for us where we can place additional face textures into the little texture boxes. I decided to use the ones that I created in another video already and just cut them up accordingly for this purpose. But the bottom line is that you can use your V-Roy texture and create additional copies of that with additional effects. Or export the textures from here directly by going to Textures, select the one that you are interested in with a right click and use Show in Explorer. You can open these in any kind of photo manipulation software or drawing program to create yourself a new copy with the alterations you want. I used three ones here, but as you can see, you can add a lot more than that. Under the little boxes where we added our textures in, we see the amount texture option with a slider. These sliders dictate how much of the new texture is visible. Make sure that you already created your animator controller before you go to the next step. Because we will now create three simple animations with these textures. We press play and the top part and switch back to scene at the top and now to animation at the bottom. If you don't have that menu point yet, you can add it over window, animation and animation. We will get the prompt to create a new clip. We will do that now and name the clip accordingly to our first face texture, Lash1. The trick is now to start recording by pressing the red record button to the left and move the slider for the first texture just a little bit up and put it back to zero to create our first keyframe or the neutral state. Our next keyframe should now be set at one minute, so we select it on the timeline and move the slider of the respective texture up to 1 to create the second keyframe. Then we stop the recording by pressing the red button again. If you want to have a faster transition, you can add the second keyframe earlier, of course. We repeat that for all our textures in the same manner and leave the animation mode completely after by pressing the play button again. Back in our assets main folder, we should now see our three animations. We click on each and disable the loop option. Now, last but not least, we have to set up the blend shapes to trigger these animations. For that, we go to blend shapes and create our three new blend shape clips. 
The best is here to name them something that reminds you of the animation it belongs to. Also, don't name them like one of the existing blend shapes. For example, if your face gets red when you're angry and you name your blend shape angry, then the program will not be able to know if it's the already existing angry blend shape or your new one. So better name them something that doesn't exist already. Now we click back on our avatar's name in the hierarchy to the left and scroll all the way down in the inspector to the right to add a new component. For us, this will be the new VSF animator. Here you will add as many properties as we have animations, which for me is three, and assign the blend shapes and animations together from the drop-down list. You probably understand now why it's pretty important to name them similar or even the same, so you can put them easier together in this step. And that's it! All that's missing now is to export your avatar over the VSF SDK menu and load it into VC Face. Here we go into the expression settings and see our new blend shapes at the bottom. Now, there are a few things to consider here. The way that I set these up is meant to be a fixed thing, so I select base here. If you don't want them to mix, you set these all to base. But let's say you want to mix your already existing set expression with your new tier effect. You can set the tiers as base and the set expression as an additive or vice versa, so you can trigger your other expressions over the new ones. This makes for some pretty nice effects. You can also record multiple texture swaps together, like eye texture swaps together with the face textures. The limit is just your imagination. I hope you found this tutorial useful and I see you all next time. Hope you have a wonderful day.